Now, for, for the education of our viewers and even for us who aren't really that tech savvy when it comes to speakers, you were mentioning you use di real diamonds? Now, diamond carbon. Now, why do they actually use that? What does that do to make it better? Because the uh, uh, technology for that is to be stiff and light. So it's a uh, perfect piston movement to make it uh, sound uh, clear and uh, efficient. Now, these kinds of speakers, are these for those who really want clarity or those who want loud music? Or is it for both? Like what type of people yes. would buy something like this? Speakers? Clarity, clarity, and the loudness also uh, is uh, part of it. But the clarity is the priority mm -hmm. of these designs. Yeah? So, if you're a type of person who's really into horror the music, they would buy something like this. Yes. Yeah. I now, love music. Yeah. I mean, honestly, <laughs> to have this all every day at home would annoy the heck out of my brother. But you know how much it costs. How much does it cost? What is fair is that. It's like a condo. <laughs> so you have to have a really nice condo <laughs> or a house. Yes. Yes. What you mean? Talking about me, basically. Now you mentioned you started in 1995. That was more than 20 years ago. Now, how much has technology changed in terms of speakers, home theater, audio? How how much how much has that changed? Materials, yes. The materials changes a lot for the speaker uh, materials from aluminum dome to uh, diamond and uh, the mid-range also from Kevlar to continuum. You are mentioning the kinds of materials that are being used to make these speakers. These are high grade. Some of them like Kevlar is actually military grade. Now, what kind of, why, why are these kinds of materials being used? Because Kevlar are wood materials. They can absorb the coloration. So uh, the sound will be much clearer. So it can stand a bullet. <laughs> yeah, it's Kevlar. You know. Oh! And it can, it, you know. You see, this is why it's one of really, items. yeah, it's really if high. Someone goes to your house, you just hide behind that. Yeah. <laughs> but the 1.5M uses a new material, much better than Kevlar. Oh. You know, as we know, uh, competition in the home theater and audio system technology is quite fierce. Now, as you've been, you've been in the business for more than 20 years, you've seen, you've seen what uh, the technology has changed. Now, how does your products and your company stand out from the rest of the pack? Yeah, the most important thing is the uh, after sales service and how you deal with the customers, your attitude, and uh, how you suggest the system for them. And uh, if they're satisfied, they will keep coming back. You have to know their budget, so you can uh, recommend the correct system. Who do you target? Who's your target market in, 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 this, in the products that you're selling? We, are, we have a lot of products. <coughs> Some targeted to the audio files, <coughs> which means uh, two-channel uh, stereo listening, and some for home theater. So uh, it depends. There are many markets. And they have many products to cater to those type of markets. We also do uh, background music for uh, boutique stores, for uh, hotels. Now, the, what we see here, like mid to high end uh, kinds of technology from speakers to television, audio. Now, um, so your market is really, is it more um, the business uh, in, or individuals? These are targeted more and for individuals. But we have some products which are specific to hotels. So definitely your technologies are all on point, it's a front runner, it's just what makes them stand out in general is really the after sales, how they uh, deal with the customers and how they take care of the customers. So that's one of the reasons why Tayama is one of the best and that they are standing, withstanding with their, uh, with their competitors at this point. So of course, you know, as you go along, there are obstacles along the way. What kind of obstacles do you have to go through mm. to stand? You, you've been, as, as we mentioned a while ago, you, you've been in the business for more than 20 years. Now how do you surpass all these? Uh, how do you thrive, yeah, thrive in this business? In this business, which is very fierce. This attitude, you have to think positive. 
<laughs> yeah, and uh, you have to deal <coughs> with your customers uh, <coughs> very carefully so that um, they will, be, uh, they will uh, keep on coming back. Yeah. It's really the customers. Yes. If they're happy, if you make them happy, they'll make yeah. you happy. Yeah. Well, if you had a quick advice to the viewers, even us, who, who want to set up their own home theater or audio system, what kind of advice would you give them? Yeah, I think uh, you should uh, know what are your priorities, your budget, and let us know and you can suggest the, uh, the system that will be good for you and perfect for you. And of course, a message to all of your loyal customers. Yeah, just uh, visit our dealers and our showroom to see our, all our products and the latest ones. And you can demo and uh, give you a good uh, price so that uh, you'll be uh, satisfied. All right, thank you so much. Babalik kami ni Robert yes. to get a good price. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hope, I, I hope we had more time. You know, there's a lot to talk about when it comes to home theater, audio. There's a lot of tech, technical side, very, those who don't know, it's very expensive also. Mm -hmm. But there's also cheap ones that maybe, you know. That fit the, the budget, yeah. yeah. The budget. There are yeah. some of the things I see here. They actually have good sales, they have good prices. So I'm sure that there's something for everyone here. Maybe we'll look later. Yeah, we but should. But that's all we have time for our interview right now. But later we'll have more tech news with you when Brand TV 